Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Beaver and today we are talking about cuts. Now when I say cuts, I'm referring to the cuts that you make while distilling. So uh, if you're new to distilling, there is four sections that we are concerned about or that we refer to when we do cuts. Now they have different names within the industry or within the hobby. We talk about four shots. We talk about heads, hearts and tails. Yes, they are in that sequence and you cannot take any of those things after the other or before the other one. So at the end of the day, they come off four shots first, heads, hearts and tails. Now, if you do a quick Google search or you go onto any of the forums, this graph is a visual representation of what happens while you are distilling or taking your cuts off the still. In front of us here, we have a run that we did, and this is the run that we did for the collab with Bearded and Board. If you want to see what this mystery run is, remember to hit that subscribe button down in the corner there and ring that little bell so you get notified immediately the moment my videos get uploaded. Now, what we do when we do our cuts is we take our first little bit off. So this is what is referred to as your four shots. Now your four shots, or this little, or is this part here, which is referred to as methanol. Now, not all of that is methanol, so it's not pure methanol. It is a mixture of methanol and some of your heads, which is your saldehydes, uh, your acetones, and your ethyl acetate. So that is a mixture of the two, as you can see represented here. You have a very little bit of methanol at the bottom, with a lot of the other stuff in there. Now, when you are distilling, I normally take about 50 mils off of a 20 liter run. So that means 50 mils is about two and a half percent of the alcohol contained within the wash if you convert it back. If you want to know a bit more about heads and that type of stuff, remember to hit a comment down below. Now, methanol is the thing that or the myth that home distilling is poisonous and you can kill yourself or go blind while you're doing it. Now we as home distillers, we remove that first little bit, the methanol, the product we run is not poisonous or dangerous at all. The next up in your run is your heads. Now the heads as you see here is uh, that little curve of what is referred to as your acetaldehydes, uh, acetones, all the other sharp smelling uh, almost fake flavors, so if you smell vanilla essence versus uh, vanilla extract, that kind of difference. So the one has a more metallic, so it's more of an artificial flavor. That's the first stuff that comes off. As you go into your run and you draw, start transitioning into your hard cut, what happens is you have less of that funky flavors and you have more of your hard cut. Now what is your hard cut? It's referred to the bunch of different names, your sweet jar or whatever you want to call it. All that is, is your nice clean ethanol. And when I say clean, I don't mean high proof. I just mean very little of your funky, weird flavors. So that's your hard cut. Now, once you start transitioning into tails, you start picking up what they call your heavier, more funky, more sour flavors. Depending on what kind of run you're doing, you maybe want some of those tails mixed in because that contains a hell of a lot of flavor at the end of the day. But if you want to keep your run clean, you're not going to run into tails. Now, tails can start at any ABV. It can start at any point in your run. It all depends on how you run your still. This brings us to how I run my still. If you want to me to make a video that explains the whole cuts in more detail, what happens when and that type of stuff, please hit a comment down below and I will see how much interest there is to make a video to explain each different section of the cuts in more detail. Now, as I said, the run in front of us, we started by taking off our methanol. Now the methanol here is about 50 mils of methanol. Then I have my heads here, so the heads here is about 200 mils of heads, and then I started transitioning into my heart cut. Now my heart carried on, so I started taking it off at 85%, it went down to 80, stayed at 80, 79, 78, 70. 
Then what I did is I started smelling some of my tails coming through, so I let it run into one more jar that I took off at 65. Now the moment I started smelling a lot of tails, uh, meaning it went completely sour or completely funky or wet or whatever your smell picks up when you refer to tails, what I did then is I used my method to compress my tails. So if you go back to the chart, you'll see I use my reflux to compress my cuts. Now when I say compress, I do not mean make it less alcohol. All I mean is I take that slooping or that nice transition between hearts and heads and tails and all that other stuff, I compress it so there is a faster transition between the two. So I get a cleaner heart's gut and I can also then get nice high proof alcohol out of my tail still without having to compromise the flavor. We'll go to the still now and I'll show you the exact method of how I do it. But yeah, basically what I do is I use reflux and I get my still or my column to start balancing again. And then once it's balanced, I then go and I take off the cuts that I need. So what ended up happening is the large jar that I took off here before I started compressing my tails was at 65%. Then I started compressing it and I ended up with two jars at 75% and the large jar literally came off at zero. So it's not even on the table. So I removed all the alcohol or ethanol out of my wash and I have two super clean tails jars that I can use to blend back in. Yes, they have some nice funky flavors, but because we took them off at the higher ABV, uh, we took less of those flavor carriers over into the distillate. If you want to see what I mean about that, check out the video on this side here, where I discuss does ABV actually matter when you distill and we discuss the different types of flavors that you pull out of your distillate or out of your wash into your distillate while you're distilling at different ABVs. Let's quickly hit over, head over to the still and I will show you what I mean about getting my heads and my hearts and that type of stuff all compressed up so I get cleaner transitions between cuts. Now we're at the still, let's quickly look at what I mean about using reflux. So if you look at the still here quickly, what we have is we have a reflux section on top here. All that is, it pre-condenses the vapor and it pushes it back down the column again. So that's all that reflux is. It doesn't matter if you have a deflagmator or you have a coil wrapped around the outside of the, 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 the column or whatever you have. All it is, it's a pre-condensing section. Now, what we do is we run cold water through that section and it forces the vapor back down. How I compress my heads and how or how I compress my cuts is I use this section here to transition between my cuts. Now when I start my still up like it is currently, I then put my still into full reflux. I also set my vapor speed or the energy that goes into the bottom of the still at the speed that I want when I do my normal cuts. So what is the power that you need to put into your still? That will depend on your still, your setup, if you're gonna use gas or whatever. So you need to add the energy into the bottom like you would for a normal run. So you're not gonna increase the power or the vapor speed while you're doing this compression. So if you normally put yours, for my instance, I put mine on Number three, setting on my voltage controller for my normal run when I do a whiskey or a brandy. All I do different now is between the cuts, I just use reflux. So if you look at the still here now, as you can see, we are running the still now in full reflux. And we have almost nothing coming off the spout. So what that means is the still is now currently in full reflux. So we are knocking back every thing that the vapor is pushing up or the energy in your tank is pushing up. We're knocking back everything. What I do is I leave it like that for my four shots on my heads. I leave it like that for 20 minutes. And then what I do is I decrease the amount of reflux, meaning I decrease the amount of water running through my reflux section and then I take my cut, meaning my methanol or first and then my heads 
and then the moment I'm done taking off my head I will take my still and I'll put it back into full reflux again now once I put it back into full reflux what will happen is I will start compressing and taking out all those funky funny flavors all the acetone flavors all those sharp flavors then depending on what ABV I want to take it off generally for my whiskies and my brandies and my rums which is a lower ABV what I do is I take it off at about 70 to 80 percent between or 60 to 80 percent depending on what you want what I do then is I leave it there for five minutes after the five minutes I dial back on my reflux and at no stage do I adjust my vapor speed what will happen is as I dial back on the reflux yes you'll get high ABV off the spout for the first couple of minutes but after that it will dial down into the ABV that you wanted then you leave it there the moment you start smelling tails again what you're gonna do is you're gonna take the reflux back into full reflux column will get all balanced and all the funky flavors will go back down and then you dial back on the reflux again to take out your compressed tails let me do a quick representation of what I mean when I say that so number one so what you'll see is my vapor speed or the power going into my still is currently set to three I'm not going to adjust that all I all the the only thing that I will be adjusting is the amount of water running through my reflux chamber now over here is the tap I use to control the amount of water to my reflux section as you can see the tap is now completely open so if I want to de decrease the amount of reflux that's happening what I'll do is I'll close the tap once I close the tap, what will happen is less water will throw, flow through the reflux section and we will start getting drips at the bottom. So once you've done that and you've decreased the amount of reflux running through your chamber, you should start getting product off of your spout in about 30, 30 seconds to a minute. There we go. So now what we are doing is we're taking off the methanol. Because the methanol was left in the top of the chamber, we are now starting to take off the methanol. So I'll let it run like that until I get my first 50 mils. I'll discard that 50 mils and then I'll start taking off my heads. So yeah, I know that was quite a long-winded discussion over at the still, but I hope uh, it makes a little bit more sense on how I use reflux to compress my transition between my cuts. Now, I'll just re iterate the fact that do not adjust your vapor speed when you are doing this your vapor speed will cause more reflux to happen and you will not get that abv off that you want if you want to run a vodka and you want very high proof alcohol yes keep your reflux running almost in full and then increase your vapor speed so you push past the reflux chamber and you only get the high proof neutral spirit off coming off past your reflux section but for us that wants to run a flavorful run like we have in front of us here we will use the reflux and not increase our vapor speed vapor speed once again is just the amount of power that you add into your boiler whether you're using gas or you're using uh, an electric element keep it the same that you do for a normal run like i said all we're doing is we're taking this normal curve and we're just pushing it down so we have a cleaner heart and a longer heart run so thank you very much for sticking around to the end and as always have a lucky day